welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our brand new glitter pen and also our brand new liquid stardust. So let's go ahead and check out all of this sparkly stuff. We're also going to be making a flippin' awesome card today, but before we do that, we're gonna take a closer look at both of these products. And first up here is our glitter pen. And what the glitter pen does is it adds a subtle shimmer and it's got a little marker nib which makes it really easy to get into small areas. So the first thing you're gonna do when you first open the pen is you're gonna shake it a whole bunch and then you're going to prime it. So you'll notice that it's one of these kind of felt tips that you can actually push in. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna take it onto your work surface and you're gonna push it down over and over again until the glitter actually gets to the pen. And it's gonna take you a little while the good thing is you only will do this once just at the very first time you open up the pen So you're gonna shake it and then you're gonna press that marker dip down over and over again onto just a piece of scratch paper I started to notice a little glitter coming out and here you can see that that white tip now just has a little bit of that glittery shimmer in it And so you know, it's perfect to go so here is a look at what that glitter looks like. It's this really beautiful, subtle shine. So it can go over your colored images or die cuts and just add a beautiful sparkle without changing the color of them. So there we just did some little tiny lines. You can also take it and kind of fill in a whole area and have a bigger area of glitter too. So some of my favorite ways to use this glitter pen is to add little accents to my stamped, colored, and die cut images. So in this case, we're gonna take that cute little mouse from Mice on Ice, and we're gonna add glitter to his ice skates and to his scarf. And so you'll see now when we put it up to the camera, that little pretty subtle shine that's just so gorgeous on that little mouse. Here's another example where we're gonna add some shimmer to some more fine detail areas. And I love that marker tip because I'm able to easily get into those small areas. That being said, you can also color in a bigger area. So here we're just gonna marker all over just the red part of the Santa's hat and you can see how pretty that shimmer is. So I loved how the Santa hat was looking, but I looked at the sleigh and I thought, you know what? It could use some more glitter. So the cool thing about this pen is, is once you look at the piece, if you feel like it needs a little more shimmer, you can actually just go and use your pen again layer right on top and add some more shimmer to it so you can build up that shimmery glitter effect as much as you would like and so now we have way more shimmer going on on that gold part and it's so pretty now this glitter pen isn't just for Christmas because it's really subtle, you can add it to other images. So here we have this cute summery tree and we're gonna add it just to those little yellow leaves, which I always think of those as kind of like little lemons. And so you'll see that it's just this beautiful subtle texture that just adds a little extra something that's so pretty. Next, we're gonna take a look at the Liquid Stardust and see some different ways to use it. When you first use your Liquid Stardust, you're gonna to wanna to shake it really, really well because all the shimmer is gonna to settle to the bottom. So we've shaken it really well. And then here is a look at what it looks like when it comes out of the bottle. It's this shimmery liquid that you can use in a ton of fun ways. So the first way we're gonna use it is in a splatter way. And so here you can see it was sitting on my desk for a while, so all my shimmer's at the bottom. I'm gonna shake it really hard, kinda of look at the bottom, make sure all the shimmer is mixed in. I like to hit it against my hand as well. Now it's all mixed together so we can start to work with it. So here I'm going to take this and just spread a little bit onto my craft mat. I like to pick it up with a paintbrush. In this case, I'm using a pretty small paintbrush because I want some small splatters. And this is a Distress Oxide inked background. And I'm gonna tap my paintbrush and just get all of these splatters on there. And it's gonna look like stars or a beautiful shimmery texture. So this would be great for oceans and skies, night skies, summer skies, anything. Um, just so, so pretty. By splattering it on directly, it's a really kind of bold effect, a lot of shimmer, a lot of shine. It really looks like individual stars in the sky and so pretty. If you'd like a more subtle effect with the liquid stardust, what you can do is mix it with water. So we're gonna add some to our craft mat and I have a spray bottle on my desk. I'm just gonna spray some water onto the mat and mix them together. The more water you add, the more subtle that shimmer is going to be. So I'm gonna mix those two together and then we're gonna do the same splatter technique. So we'll pick up some of that mixture, tap the paintbrush and put that all over the background. What's cool here is that water we've added is going to react with that distressing background, creating kind of that cool texture, but it's gonna have a shimmery look to it. So it's definitely a more subtle look and a little bit of a different look. So here you can see just how gorgeous that is as well. And then here is a comparison between these two ideas. So you can see the subtle one on the left and the more stark kind of silvery shimmer on the right. 
Now another way to do this is to take some inked backgrounds and spray them with just plain water first. So we're gonna spray them with water and that's gonna give that kind of cool, distressy, kind of funky look. Then we can do the same techniques that we did before onto the water sprayed background. So we can take our liquid stardust and put it on the craft mat and pick it up just straight out of the bottle and splatter that onto our card base. And that's gonna give us a best of both worlds look. We're gonna have the water reaction going on and then the really more stark, shiny little splatters everywhere. Now we can do the same thing where we've got the plain water splattered background. We're gonna add our liquid stardust to the craft mat and then we're gonna mix that with water. And so this is gonna be a mixture of the two ideas as well. So we'll mix those together, pick it up with the paintbrush, tap the paintbrush to splatter it onto our background. And here you can see just how cool that looks. I love the mixtures of all of these different looks that you can do depending on what you need to go for in your scene. So here's the first method where all we did was just splatter the straight liquid stardust onto our inked background. Here's the second method where what we did was we mixed the liquid stardust with water and then splattered that. And you can see the difference in the looks between the two of them. Here is the background that we sprayed with water and then took the straight liquid stardust and splattered it on there. And then here's a comparison between the one where we didn't spray it with water and the one where we did. So it's just two different looks depending on what you're going for. Here on the right, we have the one that was sprayed with water and then they were both splattered with the liquid stardust mixed with water. And so you can see the subtle differences between those. The one on the right, we just have more of those water droplet looks. And then here you can take a look at the four different backgrounds. So they're all really cool and I love that they're all different looks. Another way to use the liquid stardust is to mix it with water in a spray bottle. So this is a little mini mister. We're gonna take our liquid stardust, shake it up and add some into the bottle. Then we'll go ahead and add in some water. And you see I'm gonna go back and forth adding a little bit of water, a little more liquid stardust, just to get the right shimmer. Then you can shake it all up and it's ready to spray on your cardstock. So this is a piece of black licorice cardstock. We're gonna spray from really far away onto this cardstock and you're gonna see the gorgeous shimmer that it has. Once you let it dry, you'll see this is one where we let it dry over time. Look how gorgeous that is. I absolutely adore it on the black cardstock. Now it looks really pretty on lighter color cardstocks too. So this is the mermaid cardstock. We're gonna take our mini mister, shake it, and spray it. And that's gonna give it a subtle shimmer as well that's really, really pretty. And so here is a look at what that looks like once it's all dried. Sometimes these mini misters will get clogged with the liquid stardust. If that ever happens to you, just take the top end and just put it in some warm water, let it soak, and it's gonna work perfectly after that. Now another fun thing to do is to add shimmer to watercolor with the liquid stardust. So here is a reinker. This is for our Merman ink, and we're gonna mix it with some shimmer. So you can take your ink reinkers and mix these together and create your own custom shimmery watercolor. So we're gonna take these two and mix it together, and you can see how pretty that's looking. Here we're gonna brush it onto some watercolor cardstock and you can see the subtle shimmer wash that it gives. Now if you want a less intense color, all you need to do is just add some water to this and just water it down just a little bit and then you can go ahead and spread it on your cardstock creating this beautiful shimmer background. You can also take that liquid stardust and mix it with your other watercolors. So I'm gonna add some water to my palette here, pick up some of that paint, put it onto my craft mat, add some liquid stardust and a little bit of water and I can create another watercolor wash that's super pretty. And here you can see a comparison between these two ideas. Another way to use it is how we used it in the intro to the Spooky Village video. So we actually took it and put it directly onto cardstock and smeared it around with our fingers that's gonna give you a really intense shine. You can also mix it with water on your craft mat and then smear it around with your finger again. And that's gonna give this really more subtle shimmer onto your cardstock. So it's a nice, quick, easy, direct to paper method. And here you can see the difference between the two. There's the one that's super shiny that was just direct and then the one on the left that was mixed with water. So now that we've made everything super sparkly, we're gonna go ahead and make a flippin' awesome card using the spooky village dies. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a fun background. And we're gonna be mixing together some Distress Oxide inks using blender brushes. So this is the Blueprint Sketch Color, then Wilted Violet, 
Then after the Wilted Violet, I'm gonna move on to Dusty Concord and then I'm gonna end up not liking it. And so what I'm gonna do is just cover that up with chipped sapphire. So I kind of like the oxides because you can layer them and cover up colors when you don't like how they look. Now to create a nice blend between each of the colors, I like to go back and forth between the two colors right where they meet so that there's a seamless blend and you don't have any harsh lines. Next, we're gonna use that liquid stardust. We're gonna shake it up really well, put it directly onto the craft mat, and we're gonna use it direct with the splatter method. So we're not gonna add any water to it. We're just gonna take our paintbrush and pick up that liquid stardust, tap the paintbrush, and create really cool splatters across this. And it's gonna look like a starry night, spooky sky for our Halloween scene. And I just love how this is looking. It's so pretty and shimmery and perfect for this Halloween scene. And I'm really excited to turn this inked cardstock into a Flippin' Awesome. So we're gonna take out those Flippin' Awesome dies and we're gonna take that smaller stitched rectangle and we're gonna die cut four of those stitched rectangles from this inked piece. Then we'll take the large main panel die and we're gonna die cut that from some black cardstock. And if you've never made a Flippin' Awesome card before, make sure to check out the intro video. We'll link it in the description below. We'll add some tape runner to the back of our beautiful inked starry skies and layer them onto those larger black rectangles. Then we can start to form our scene. So I've gone ahead and stamped, colored, and cut a bunch of images from Spooky Village. And you can check out the intro video to Spooky Village to see how we've colored in a lot of these houses. Now we're gonna take all of these cute, tiny little images and layer them on like scenes. Now I was inspired to make this card by Elena. She made this gorgeous version of this card and I really loved how she set up her scene. So I did something really similar. Now here is the main Flippin' Awesome die, and we've die cut this from some white cardstock. This is some 80 pound white cardstock, which I find the best for making a really nice smooth action in the Flippin' Awesome. And so we're gonna fold along all of those score lines that the die created for us in the middle of the Flippin' Awesome. We're gonna fold them in one direction and in the other direction. And by doing this, it's gonna help create a really nice movement in the Flippin' Awesome. Next, we'll add our tape runner in that bottom square underneath that last score line, and we'll attach our first panel. Now this panel is going to be completely attached flat onto the Flippin' Awesome. Then we're gonna add our adhesive right above it between the score lines. So we'll add one strip of adhesive, and then we'll add our other panel on. Now this panel is just going to be attached by that one strip of adhesive so that it's gonna be able to flip back and forth. Then we'll repeat that two more times. So we'll add our adhesive between the score lines, and then add our next panel, attaching that down, and then one more strip of adhesive and one more panel. Next, we'll add some nice strong tape to the two tabs on the side. So we're gonna use some quarter inch double-sided tape, attaching two pieces to each of the tabs. The reason we're using this nice strong tape is this is actually the only place where the Flippin' Awesome is going to attach to the card base. So we want some nice strong tape in there. We're using a black licorice card base here, and we're gonna take that piece of black cardstock that we sprayed at the beginning of the video with the liquid stardust mixed with the water, and you can see how gorgeous that is. It's gonna make a great background. To form our flippin' awesome mechanism, we're gonna take the piece that's white there that has no panels attached to it, and we're gonna fold that back behind our cool colored panels. Then you're gonna take those tabs and hug it around the whole thing. But first we wanna remove that liner paper. So we're gonna peel up that liner paper on both of the tabs, and then we can lift up our Flippin' Awesome, hug those things around our whole mechanism, and we're gonna attach it down onto that beautiful card base that we were working on earlier. So this is the one that we inked and splattered at the very beginning of the video, and we're just gonna attach that right down. And you can see how cool this flip action is looking already. It's so cool and sparkly. So next we're gonna add some foam tape to the back of that piece that has the Flippin' Awesome and then we'll layer that onto our sparkly card base. Earlier in the video, we talked about how we created our Flippin' Awesome base piece from some 80 pound cardstock. And that's because that 80 pound cardstock really gives it a nice flip action. But I wanted to have my piece that was kind of pulling out there at the end to be black to match the rest of the card. So that's okay. What we can do is take our black cardstock, we're gonna die cut the Flippin' Awesome piece, but just trim off the other side of it that has the score lines. Then we can add tape runner to it and layer it on. To layer it, you'll see there's a little pocket right there that the Flippin' Awesome forms. You're gonna tuck that into the pocket and then just line that up with the tab. 
Now it looks like we made the whole Flip and Austin mechanism out of the black cardstock, but because that black cardstock is a 100 pound cardstock, it just doesn't move as smoothly as the 80 pound. And so this is a nice trick to turn your 80 pound white cardstock into whatever color you need for your Flip and Austin. We're gonna take another one of those panels that we created at the beginning of the video, and we're gonna die cut some of Louie's ABCs from this. We're gonna die cut the word boo, and in Elena's card she had this, and I thought it was the cutest thing to have it when you pull the flip thing for it to say boo. It's just adorable. So we'll take our letters, layer them in place, and then we can add liquid glue on the back with the glue tube and attach those all to our piece. I'm also gonna add one of those cute tiny ghosts that's in the Spooky Village set, because I just think it looks adorable there. Next, we're gonna work on the pull tab, and I thought it would be cool if the pull tab kind of matched the rest of that inked background. So I took another one of those inked pieces that I had and die cut it to kind of match up with the blue and the purple, and you can see how gorgeous and seamless that looks. For our sentiment, we're gonna be die cutting the Happy Halloween line border out of some black sparkle cardstock and also just out of some black licorice cardstock. And we're gonna layer these two together just to give this sentiment a little extra height. It's gonna be really, really pretty on the card we can then trim off any of the excess of that line border. And for a finishing touch, we're going to add some glitter with the new glitter pen. So now we're gonna have a shimmery background and also some shimmery elements onto our scene. So I'm gonna color in some of the clouds and the ghosts, the moon, also adding some glitter into the windows, which is really cute, and on the stars. I'm also tracing the little tendrils on the pumpkin just to give those a little glitter as well. And then for one last element, I thought it would be really cute to take those tiny little trick-or-treaters that we had at the beginning of the card and have them coming out at the end. So we're gonna tuck them behind a little bit so it looks like they're coming out of that last panel, like they just visited those three houses. And I think it's such a cute surprise when you pull the panel. So you can see we're gonna pull the panel now. You can see all of those cute spooky houses and then the trick-or-treaters come out at the end. And it makes me giggle every time I play with this. It's just so cute and fun. As you pull the panels, you can see that sparkle and shine as it hits the light. It's so gorgeous. I love the mix of the glitter pen and the liquid stardust and all of the fun and different ways that we use them today. I also just love making these flipping awesome cards. They're so cute, so fun, so adorable, and such a blast. And here I wanted to share with you the card that Elena made that inspired me to make mine. I love being inspired by my friends, so thank you so much, Elena, for being awesome. I can't wait to see what you guys create with the glitter pen and the liquid stardust, so make sure to share it with us. Also, if you want to check out any more of our videos, you can click here. You can also click to subscribe or click to learn more over at lawnfawn.com. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!